share a drill with you. I've been using it for 30 plus years with my students. It's something I learned when I was very young at about age 10. It's a phenomenal drill. I call it the three steps to better golf or three seconds to better golf as a good friend of mine calls it. Been using this drill forever. It was taught to me when I first learned it. I was young and I was actually using a tire to check impact. Now there's two ways you can do the drill. You can do it with an impact device. This happens to be an impact bag. This is the Gary Wear one. It's about $40 on Amazon. You just stuff it with pillows. Uh, they have them starting at $19, but you can use a pillow, something, uh, you could stuff a blanket inside a pillowcase with a pillow, uh, couch pillow, anything like that. It, it's one of my friends uses a lawn bag stuffed with uh, old clothes. It's just something that you can check impact with, and you don't have to go after it hard. I do recommend you brace it up like I have with this chair if you're going to use the impact bag, but you, again, this drill comes in two parts, checking impact and checking uh, the release in third position. So I'm gonna start with the, the drill. And when I was young, I heard my coach tell me, kid, keep your elbows down, arms in front. And that is a phenomenal concept in golf. It's been around forever. I've heard it from some other structure, instructors like Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Ballard was very, uh, Ballard was very good with it. And I, I just wanted to share it with you because I use this with my students and I know that my students that go home and work on this drill improve rapidly. They're, and most people want more consistency, they want to hit it farther. Well, the key to all that is being good at impact and, and this is one drill that I believe covers all those things and will really help you play better golf. So let's get started. So, elbows down, arms in front. When we set up at the ball, assuming we have a good uh, setup position, we, we create this triangle with our arms. Now, we don't want to have tension, we don't want to be reached out, we want our elbows relaxed, pointing down at our hip joints. And so it's very relaxed. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this triangle and the first position or the first second in the drill is moving it in one piece. Now, this is something Jack Nicklaus was adamant about how important this was. You'll see most of the great players actually sometimes in their pre-shark routine they're working on this first alignment position. And if I turn this way, uh, it would be simply, the club is gonna go away without moving inside too quickly, okay? So again, from the front position, the first position is one. Now you can train this position very effectively by putting the club in your belly and gripping down on the shaft in your normal setup position and then moving everything together. Now notice this face is not rotating. It's not rotating, my hands aren't rotating. I'm just shifting my weight into my right foot. I'm rotating my spine. It's a one piece, you can take the, the right hand off. Most people interfere with the backswing by jerking it with the right hand. So just it's just simply this, okay? This left arm is our primary lever. This is the center of our swing. We wanna return the club right below our left side ideally, which would be the low point. Okay, now I'm gonna use the impact bag again in this drill. The second step is simply one, and then we take the left right arm to a 90 degree angle, or the left arm could just be level with the ground, would be another great checkpoint, okay? I'm gonna turn this way. This is super important. As I take this club up to position two, or sec second two, my elbows are down again and my hands are still in front of me. Now this left elbow can be in a variety of positions and still be fine as long as this left elbow is down. The minute this left arm gets a little tilted, now the club's laid off, you'll see a lot of the amateurs take it back in here and then they're doomed. That Now at this point they have to either come this way or go under and it's very hard to be consistent from that location or alignment in the backswing. So again, from this angle, it's one Two, this left arm ideally should be somewhere between the target line and the balls of your feet. We don't want to get this left arm back behind us. Creates way too many problems, okay? So that's a good checkpoint for you as you're doing it one more time. Left arm somewhere between the balls of my feet and the target line. Okay, now we're going to go into to impact now in position three. Want that, well, if you're using the impact bag, have it lined up off your front foot. So the drill is one, two, and then three. Now I do this in cruise mode, okay, and I wanna point out a few key factors at this position. Notice, the club never rotated, okay? I did not snatch the hands or rotate the shaft. Notice the white label on my grip, it doesn't rotate. It's one, two, and then three is me releasing my lower body, right knee, hips released, now, the, notice the face is dead square, 
I have a slight forward shaft lean and flat left wrist. Okay, how do I get there? It's not, it's not here, it's not here. Notice how wide open my shoulders are. That leaves the face open, okay? You can also, if you're incorrect, you can get here, okay? Which is gonna hit it left with the face closed. What we wanna do is check impact, make sure the face is square, and we have good body alignments square at this point to the target. Now, that's how you use the impact bag. Again, one, two, three. This is the set fit position that you're looking for. Check your position if you're doing the drill when you get here. I'm gonna remove this now. I'm gonna show you how to do this drill without an impact bag. So, now I'm set up. Now, ideally, if you can, you wanna brush the ground when you're doing the three-part drill without the impact bag. This is really working on identifying the proper release position, okay? So it's one, two, three. Now in the third position here, the club and triangle are back in front of me and I'll come at you so you can see this. It's again, one, two, three, okay? Ideally brushing the ground, one, two, three. Now if I put the club back in my center, there would be my elbows down, arms in front, clubs right back in the center, and the rest of the swing would be folded up and finish, okay? So if I went through the steps in cruise mode, one, two, three, and then finish. Again from this angle, one, two, three, and, and if I was hitting the impact bag, I'd be here, but I've released toes up, clubs back in center. One final way to train this drill, put the club in your belly. Preferably, I would use a longer club, maybe a fairway wood or a driver for this drill. You're not gonna brush the ground. It's one, two, I'm still in that same position. Notice that the alignment of the butt of the club is on the target line, ideally somewhere in here. Again, in my belly, one, two, and then return it right into your belly here with this third position. So as I come at you, it's one, two, three. I hope this drill helps you. I know some of us are locked down. We're not able to get outside. So I wanted to share this drill with my students and let them know that I'm here for them. If you have any questions, you want to shoot me a video and ask me if it's the correct, if you're doing it correctly, 702-327-8268. You can reach me there. You can also find me at VegasGolfCoach.com or RoadRunnerGolf.com. I would encourage you, if you're an existing student, you should have my contact information. Reach out, send me a video, let me see what you're doing. Let's stay in contact, and when this thing bowls over, I hope I see everyone again soon. Be safe, take care. This is the Vegas Golf Coach, signing out for now.